hello there. I don't feel like I've done this for ages. Um, so I thought, I'm, as you know, I had a bit of an enforced break from knitting and crochet for a few weeks because I got a poorly shoulder. Um, thankfully, I've been to see a consultant, and whilst I still have a poorly shoulder, stopping knitting and crocheting is not going to make any difference. So, yay, I can carry on. Um, so I have been cracking on, and I just thought to give you a little update on what I've been doing. Now, this bag, I'm very, very proud of this bag. Look, this will, this will be the best clue you'll ever get. Look what I've been doing. I've been learning to knit socks. Now, I have knitted a tube of a sock once. Sorry, this I've not obviously gone through my bag first. I've knitted a tube of a sock once, but look, now what I've done. Complete with dog hair, because I've been wearing it. I've made a sock. Yay. And I'm also now, haven't got second sock syndrome. I actually seem to be doing the second sock quicker than the first, because this was the result of yesterday and Sunday evening. Um, so yes, I've knitted a sock. I have followed Christine Perry, also known as Winnick Mum. Um, very proud to be Winnick Mum's local yarn shop. Um, I've known Christine for years and years. Um, and yes, this was the method that I used to knit the sock, which is a brilliant, brilliant book. If you've not seen it, it's really good because it takes you through every single stage with photos, which was just invaluable. Also gives you instructions on making them using short circulars, which is what I'm using, although I'm on to my DPNs at the moment to do the heel flap. Um, to do magic loop or to do it on DPNs. The DPNs I just find get in my way just a little bit. Um, but yes, so that's the pattern that I'm using. I have used this um, uh, unique sock from Earth Yarns. Earth are a fabulous company based in Tampa in Florida. Um, and we stock the Papillon Shawl in some of their yarns. And we also stock this self-striping sock yarn. Now this is hand-dyed sock yarn that should give you a perfect matching pair. Now, bear in mind, this is my first ever pair of socks. And you might not know this, but I don't actually ever wear matching socks. My kids do, my husband does, but life's too short to match my own sock. But look at this. I'm going to be able to do it this time. I haven't really tried to do this. This is just exactly how it comes out. It is a perfect match, uh, which I'm fascinated by. So, I'm quite pleased. I did the heel turn. The only bit I've not done brilliantly well is the Kitchener stitch on the, on the toe. I sort of couldn't really work out what I was supposed to do, so just gaily went backwards and forwards with a tapestry needle. Which, So I think on my next one, I'm going to have to concentrate on that more. But there you go. I almost have finished socks. And I also now have about six balls of yarn on my desk for my next socks, because my husband now wants a pair. Now, what I am enjoying about socks is it means it's opened me up to a whole new range of things so in my little Jo Malone box these are perfect for crochet hooks and they're also now perfect for DPN holders yay look I now have I'm now allowed to have a collection of DPNs because I knit socks um so yeah so this is my little box that I keep all sorts of bits and pieces in it's generally on the table at home in the lounge it has crochet hooks pens tape measures, a stitch marker, one lowly little stitch marker in there because I know I'm going to lose it and I've lost about the other five that came in this set. And then briefly I'm just going to show you this, I've forgotten about this actually. This is my little notebook for my socks for counting all my rows off, but you'll like this. So when I first started I made a note of what the pattern was and you know what yarn I'm using etc and what needle more importantly because I always forget. I couldn't find my pen so I've actually crossed out in lipstick. So there you go, I'm always thinking on the go. And then more stitch markers and sewing up needles and said lipstick. So that was my socks. They've kept me busy and I think, I don't think I'm gonna become a sock addict, but I'm enjoying the second sock a lot more than the first. Now I'm also, and this is real brain numbing crochet really, found a bag of bits and I found another bag of bits at home. Now, when I say bits, I mean really nice bits. Let me move that out of the way because you'll get the impression when I do this in a minute. Now, the, there's a bit of a tangle in here, but you'll understand why. I found, yay, all these bits of merino. I told you there was a, there was a tangle there that needs sorting. Um, from a couple of blankets that I'd never finished. So I thought I would give this a go. And my daughter has pale grey in her bedroom because it's the colour at the moment. So I just thought I would turn this bag of scraps into granny squares and look at all these. And this is, it's been really busy at work recently and really busy at home um, with 
dance shows and sats and all sorts of bits and pieces that sort of take over your life. Um, so I wanted something that I can just pick up and I'm obviously doing socks which is new and I'm having to think a lot and this was just something I can pick up and put down and not think about. Um, so all these are going to come together and I think I'm going to do it all in pale grey on the outside but I just thought these colours were gorgeous when I saw them and hopefully I've got enough to make a decent sized blanket for a single bed but look I mean this is stuff that I don't even think is made anymore there's lots of Debbie Bliss and Sublime and so on but it's all Merino which is my favourite but it's interesting because I said I think these were two bags of scraps and it's interesting how my colours tend to oh there you go there's a the later one tend to always be around sort of this um, teal colour and greens and pinks and so on also just an interesting fact because I have been struggling with my hands and my shoulder um, I've gone on to a different crochet hook I'm actually using a tulip crochet hook um, which I'm finding much much better for my hands because it's slightly fatter I do think one of the problems that I may be having with myself is that I use a lot of fine yarns fine crochet hooks fine knitting etc and I, I'm really heavy handed so I crunch them really tightly so this is enabling me and trying to be a bit looser when I crochet as well this is enabling me to crochet for a bit longer I think so there you go that's what's been keeping me busy for the last couple of weeks